So for today's revision, we will be revising chapter 19, which is genetic technology. Describe how microarray analysis can detect differences in the expression of many genes when comparing two samples. Okay. Uh, many genes is also a keyword. Such as the offspring of the wild and the captive bred fish. So that means they've got wild fish and captive bred fish. They want to know how um, when they grow in different environment, one is in the nature. Wild means is in the nature. Captive bred means you catch them and you, you breed them in an enclosed area. So they will be subjected to different, different environmental conditions. Hence, different genes may be switched on okay, for both of them. So they ask you to use microarray to detect the differences in the gene expression. So this is a very basic and direct question. First thing you want to see after looking at the keywords of the question, you check what is the total marks here. So the total marks here is five marks. So you need to write five points, okay? So you have learned that microarray is used for two purposes. Number one is comparative genomic hybridization. So this one is you want to compare the presence of certain gene between two sets of samples. So it can be two different species, okay? So, so with that, you will know the genetic relatedness and Second uh, use of microarray is gene expression profiling means you want to know <clears throat> between two different cells or two different um, organisms, what are the genes that are being expressed, okay, compared between them. So we're going to focus on gene expression profiling. So these are the basic steps that you have learned already. So you just have to write answer based on this one. So first, you want to collect mRNA from the two types of cells. So in this case, you want to collect mRNA from the wild and the captive bred fish. Okay. Then you want to convert the mRNA to cDNA by reverse transcriptase or by reverse transcription. Okay. After that, you can amplify the cDNA by PCR technique. Okay. After that, you need to label the cDNA uh, using different color fluorescent tag. So you can use fluorescent tags. Okay. And then um, denature the cDNA to make single stranded DNA. And then you need to talk about your mac microarray will contain single stranded um, DNA probes. Okay, your microarray. Because uh, in this over here, we have already learned microarray earlier on. So we didn't mention about the probe, but when you write your answer, your microarray should contain the single stranded probe. Right? So this is the microarray here. You must immobilize a single stranded probe, every probe in one particular spot. Okay, and every spot got a few of them, like what you have learned earlier on here. Right? So the microarray has got a systematic uh, location of spots, okay, in rows and column, and every spot you will immobilize um, one type of DNA probe and uh, multiple copies of the same type of DNA probe, okay, so that in each spot, it only one type of DNA can bind to it. So mention about that, then come back to here, So then you mix the labeled single-stranded DNA. Uh, sorry, it's not gene expression. Steps in, yeah, correct. So you mix the labeled single-stranded DNA fragments with the probes on the microarray. So this is called DNA hybridization. So either you say you allow the single-stranded DNA to hybridize with the probes or bind to the probes. 
by complementary base pairing. Okay. And then inspect the microarray with UV light. So when you have the UV light, the spots that fluoresce, spots that fluoresce indicates that the genes that were transcribed, that means the genes are present, the genes have been expressed. So seeing a fluorescent spots telling you that, okay, the gene has been expressed, that's why the mRNA is present, okay? So this is about the quality means present or absent. Quantity means you look at the intensity of the fluorescence, okay? Intensity of the fluorescence will tell you the level of gene expression. So can you see that this passage here, all the, all the points here are the marking point of that question, okay? Uh, of course, there's one more mark given. You can scan the microarray for the computer to read and store the data. So this is also one mark. Or you say that wash away the excess cDNA. So remember, um, after hybridization uh, of your cDNA to the microarray, you need another step to wash away whatever cDNA that did not bind to the probe of the microarray. So there's one additional step here. If you mention, you will get the mark. After you mix your sample DNA to the microarray and allow the DNA to bind to the probe, of course, there are some DNA that do not bind. So you want to actually wash off the excess cDNA. Okay, so that one step is one mark. Okay.